Welcome to Switched to Linux. This is a great channel about, as you guessed it, switching to Linux. Why this channel? How do we separate it from other channels? Why should you watch? Well, first, how are we different from other Linux channels? There are a lot of great Linux channels out there that teach you a lot of the odds and ends and under the hoods and, and how to's and things about just basically getting your system running, how does it work, little things like that. Those are all great channels and you should watch those, but that's not me. The reason it's not me is because I'm just a fairly simple guy that saw that Windows was no longer an option to get things done and Mac is not really an option to get things done and so Linux, here we come. Why did I make this change? Well, it boils down to the way that a lot of your software developers and even the operating system developers were starting to grab too much data. They wanted to grab too much of their own. They wanted to collect every bit of data. They wanted to remove control I had over the devices that I owned and spent my hard-earned money for. It actually started for me with Windows 8 initially with them installing OneDrive on the computer in a way that I could not remove it from the system. That irked me quite a bit. And then probably within about a month of that happening, then I started to see all this stuff about Windows 10 coming down and all of the data collection they were doing and that you couldn't turn this off. It was, even if you paid for Windows, they were collecting all of your data and using it to sell stuff, popping up advertisements on your operating system, just annoying level stuff. Well, I remembered a few years back when I had experimented with this little Linux distribution called Ubuntu, and uh, I had a situation where the computer system I had just kept on having issues, and so I was able to run that out of an external hard drive, and it worked, it worked pretty good. It wasn't enough that I was like, wow, I'm going to do everything over here at this point, because Windows was still a good viable option. But with all of these changes in Windows, and then with Adobe, of course, moving to a peer subscription model, and a lot of these other types of things, I started to look around at other things. I went back and I looked at Ubuntu, and then I started to learn more about the Linux world, and I said, there's something viable here. And that's why I switched to Linux, because of the Windows privacy, because of that kind of stuff. Now, what do you find on this channel? The first thing you're gonna find on this channel is what are called distro reviews. A distro review or a distro is like a Linux distribution. This is a basic operating system package. It contains what is the underlying code? What does the desktop look like? You know, they need to have a panel on the bottom. Does it look like Windows? Does it look like Mac? All these kinds of things. Does it look like something else? Um, all these different, different considerations. And then what packages are, are installed? Now, in Linux packages, we call them packages. Uh, these are the things you might call programs or maybe apps in the modern day terminology. A package is basically an application which you can run. Now, on a basic Linux distribution, most of them, out of the box, you can watch DVDs, you can put in CDs, you can stream videos, and then there's so many other applications, but the power of Linux is that it's all based on this free and open source software. You can use something like GIMP, which behaves the same way as Photoshop, and it can get just about your own tasks and products done. Now, for me, this channel, it's not just about the geekiness of let's change our operating system, it's about actually getting real work done. So the distro reviews show you the types of systems you can use. And this leads us to the second purpose of the channel is to teach you how to do real world applications. What type of real world applications? Well, I do a few things. Number one, I am a web developer. I've been a web developer for a long time. I am completely fluent and proficient in all of your Adobe packages. I have to learn about servers. Um, file transfer protocols, you know, FTP, and just all sorts of other stuff. Linux, for me, enabled me to do everything that I did on a Windows computer on Linux, on free and open source software. Was it a learning curve? Absolutely. And that's why I encourage you to take some time to learn, can you do what you need to do with your Linux operating system? These are great questions to ask yourself and they're great things for you to do. Now, the other thing that I do, I'm actually a published author. I have here three books that I've written and published, and they're all written and produced on a Linux device. 
all of the cover, all of the interior design, all of the parts that packages it all up and sends it to the book printer are all done exclusively on Linux. That is the power of the Linux operating system. So I teach you how to do real world applications on Linux. I don't care how all the stuff works under the hood. I'm gonna leave that to people who do. It's important stuff. Absolutely watch their channels as well. But what I try and do is I teach you how to do real practical things from writing books to I do all my podcasting, I do all this video production, I do a ton of things on Linux. On top of that, since I have learned Linux, I have learned to do great things in my office. For example, now I have a centralized NAS server. My entire router is now completely uh, open source Linux based that roots all of my devices together. My entire home network. I have now an ebook server that is all based on Linux. I have a device attached on the back of my dumb TV that converts it into a privacy centric smart TV. And all that kind of leads me to my third thing. You're going to find a lot on this channel about privacy. And some people say, well, maybe you should just put that on a separate channel. No, it is the privacy concerns in Windows and other software that led me to Linux. Linux for the most part is going to respect your privacy. It's going to allow you to harness the most out of your hardware because it's not using half of its system resources to send data back home to itself. It actually just does what you need it to do. So we talk a lot about privacy, particularly on the news. On Fridays, we talk about privacy, but we'll also scatter it throughout the week as well. So again, you'll find a few things. Number one, distribution reviews. Number two, software and how to use it to get real work done. And number three, privacy concerns. I basically want the world to wake up a little bit and learn how to use a new operating system. At least give it a try, even if you can't switch entirely. And there's things you can't. But that's this channel. Thanks for coming along. Have a look at my extensive video catalog and uh, feel free to ask me questions. You can have a look at my website at switchtolinux.com. I have links up above and the description down below. And uh, definitely have, have a look at around everything that we have going on here. And feel free to interact with the community. We are a family friendly community as well. You're not going to watch my videos and see F-bombs and all sorts of other stuff. We are a family friendly community and I have a group of moderators for all of my live streaming that knows that and to keeps that practice. So it is a good place to be to learn even if you have family members that might be listening in. So thanks for coming along and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.